So let's start with uh, computing more examples, curvatures of more examples. But now, uh, in the from the parametric equation of the surfaces, right? So you have phi. Or S actually so this phi gives the local coordinates on on a piece of the surface so uh, whatever point on the surface that we are interested in you take a patch around that point and calculate the curvature from uh, this uh, map phi, the, the coordinate map phi. When we had the surface uh, as a level surface, the orientation was given by the normalized gradient, right? N was del f normalized del f that is del f over norm of del f but now how do you calculate the normal here when you have a parametric form of the surface so this is the function which gives you the parameters on the surface there so if you look at The partial derivatives of the function phi at any point, these form a basis for the tangent space at that point. Right? If you look at P, so the tangent space to the surface at the point P. So this is the basis for the tangent space. So in other words, any tangent vector you can write as uh, a times phi of u plus b times phi of v. So we are in the yeah, in the two-dimensional case, right? So two-dimensional surfaces in R three. So the normal vector is a vector perpendicular to the tangent plane. So you have two basis vector here on the tangent plane, two linearly independent vectors, phi u and phi v. So how do you get something? which is perpendicular to the plane, you just take the cross product, right? So the normal at any point is therefore given by, this is your usual cross product of vectors, but you want normalized uh, normal, so just divide by the norm of So this is going to be the orientation normal vector field, unit normal vector field on the surface at a given point when you have this parametric form of the surface. So when you, when you want to calculate, so this is how you are going to calculate. You are given the map phi, so you can compute the partial derivatives and from the partial derivatives, you can calculate the normal by taking the cross product. So this is, this cross product is going to be non-zero, okay, because these form a base, they are linearly independent, right? 
cross product of two vectors is going to be zero only when uh, one is uh, a multiple of the other. The two are linearly dependent. So here they are linearly independent. They are linearly independent by the assumption, right? The gradient is non-zero. So at least one of the partial derivatives is going to be, I mean, both the partial derivatives are going to be non-zero in this case. So, so this is going to be the calculation. So what was the formula for the Gaussian curvature? K at any point is given by where E, F and G are the coefficients of the first fundamental form. So E is phi u u, F is phi u v, G is. Because the functions are all smooth, so phi u v and phi v u are going to be the same. So you can write either way here. So this purely involves only the inner product in R3, right? It doesn't involve the second fundamental form. But uh, these L, M, and N are going to be uh, in terms of both phi and n here. So L is phi u u dot n. Of course, so if you want, you can, when you take the dot product, you can take the differentiation to the other side if you want. So you can also write it as phi u dot n u and so on, right? Or phi dot n u u, etc. Uh, mm, so this n and that n are going to be. <laughs> uh, so let us put a, right? So this is your this n is your normalized uh, normal, right? Unit normal. Or we can switch to small e of g. Anyway, okay, doesn't matter. Mm. M is the middle square, product of the last. So, so to compute the curvature, therefore, we just have to compute these six quantities, right? Take the sphere or even the plane. How do you write? Can you write a plane as a parametric?
sphere. So, how do you get the parameterization of the sphere? Use the spherical yeah. coordinates, right? Cos, cos theta, cos phi. So we let let us write u v everywhere instead of so cos u cos v cos u sin v sin u right so u and v belonging to appropriate intervals you can check so if you square and add this square plus this square will give you cos square u right and then sin square u so let us compute i am not writing the intervals and all that where uh, u lies and v lies so you must remember that when you write a parametric uh, equation like this or a parametric map like this. So, this covers only a part of the surface. You do not get the entire surface when you restrict to an open interval. It will, right? So, what is phi u? Just differentiate now, it is all now you calculation that you have to do. Phi u what minus sin u cos v minus sin u sin v cos u so you have to compute all the second partial derivative so parameterization is not Unique, of course. Why, uh, why not cos u here and sine here, or this and this? Why cos u v here and sine v here? Why not the other way? Okay, so it all depends on the interval that you are taking and which part of the surface that is going to cover. So, better do the calculations yourself and also of course check whether what I have written is correct.
this and this what do you get cos square minus cos square u cos square v so this with itself phi u v dot phi u v so sin square u sin square v that is zero and then see square of this sin square u cos square v here uh, plus uh, minus uh, minus plus la oh minus in the na paishtha na this is the first term okay the second term is cos square u sin square v with a plus sign right so this comes from this is it is it okay now okay so this is going to be cos square u so what is happening now so what do you get therefore cos square u so this is what you get from this oh minus sin square u minus sin square u that's all okay yeah so now you have to ca calculate the other ones so first of all you calculate the cross product of phi u and phi v oh i've rubbed off cos v cos u sin v minus cos square u cos v minus cos square u sin v what that so n is going to be so what is the square and add so what are you going to get cos to the 4 u plus square of this huh oh so so if you take cos square u so this is cos square u just cos square u right ha huh. so so what is n therefore so you have to divide by by cos u hmm? uh, assuming that of course cos cos u is positive so your domain 
when you take the square root of this, so mod cos u is what you have to write. So on the domain where cos u is positive, this is going to be minus cos u cos v minus cos u sin v minus sin u. Hmm? Just so divide by this by this. So n by definition is phi u cross phi v divided by Of course, where cos u is negative, you will get the sign change. Mod cos u will be minus cos u, so will, this will be plus, this will be plus, this will be plus. Oh, so, so we have to now calculate L M and N. So, L is so you don't have the expression, so you give me, so you have, fortunately U is pretty simple in this case, so So what does this tell me? Phi u u you already have. So you have calculated n now. So give me what this is. Okay, so, so what is this? The square of this. Right? This one is going to be one now. Huh? Okay, good. M M equal to zero, very good. What about N? What you get for K? So this is going to be cos square U. Look at look at the cylinder. Cylinder is something important. So what is the cylinder? X square plus Y square equal to one. Oh, did we calculate in that case using the other? I think we forgot about it. But now let's calculate using this thing. So what is the parametric thing now? cos u sin u equal to 1. This is arbitrary, okay? This should be a lot easier to calculate. <laughs> products, there are no products involved, so. So lots of things are zeros, so <laughs> quite convenient.
So, so what is phi u cross phi v? Cos u? Sin u? Huh? Zero. Last one is zero. Cos u, comma, sin u, comma, zero. Right? Is that what? So normalize, the norm of this is one already, so, so this is also n. So let us write E F G. So what is E? Phi U U, right? Minus cos U. Minus sin U. Zero. F is phi V V, so it is zero. G phi u v, that is also 0. phi u u dot n. Minus one? Is it minus one? Th this dot this. So minus cos square u minus sin square u zero. For u v is zero, la? so this is going to be zero. It's also zero. So, is it okay? So, what is k? Therefore, k is ln minus m square, e.g. minus m square. So the cylinder has zero curvature. See, these are numbers, right? EFG are numbers. So <laughs> what I have written is something <laughs> absurd, right? What is E? You have to take dot products. It's not a vector. E, F, G are numbers, right? <laughs> so, so, what did we write in the beginning today? Okay. Uh, five, phi u dot phi u. That's what e, u, e is. EFG are not vectors, they are numbers. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, the sphere also we made, uh -huh. uh, we had written like this, <laughs> then of course. <laughs> then, then how did you calculate? You don't get a number at all. Phi u u is a, is a vector, so <laughs> it doesn't give you a number. Phi u u, the second derivatives come only in LMN not EFG. So, so phi u dot phi u is 1. 
for u dot phi v is 0, phi v dot phi v is 1 again. So now the denominator is 1, numerator is 0. But then how did we say in the earlier thing that the denominator is 0? E was some vector, F was some vector, G was some vector. <laughs> we said 0 by 0 and all that. <laughs> okay, so, so the sphere also that was, uh, that made all the mess I suppose. Okay, so now the spine. Mm. So the, 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 what is it, the cylinder, has curvature zero. So in fact, uh, the, there are two principal curvatures, right, the two-dimensional case. So like this one, like this one, right? The horizontal direction gives you one direction and that is the y direction and the z direction. These are the principal directions in that case if your cylinder is like this, right? The axis, the axis. So one of the principal curvatures is one, the other principal curvature is zero. That's what happens actually. The, the Gaussian curvature is a product of the principal curvature. That means uh, for the, for the, Lapla not Laplacian, what is it? Weingarten map, uh, eigenvalues are zero and one. So, and the determinant therefore is one. The mean curvature is half and so on, okay? 